Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're, uh, we're gonna try and be brave. So we found these mushrooms growing in the yard. So we did a little bit of research. And these are shaggy parasol mushrooms. They grow uh, late September, early October, well-drained areas and in fields. That's our place, top of a mountain and a field. So, um, to our best of our knowledge, that's what these are. Shaggy parasol mushrooms. So Scott and I are going to uh, take a couple and going to go fire them up on our outdoor kitchen since my wife is deathly allergic to all mushrooms, let alone random mushrooms. <laughs> Wild mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, we got the outdoor kitchen all set up. We'll bring you over there and show you that. But this is where we're going to pick a mushroom from. We haven't even decided on which one yet. So we're going to try one at a time. We got our stuff for breading them and frying them up all set so we got some choices because we got these guys that have opened right up they're almost flat and then we got these guys over here they're still newer and a little bit more parasol shape i guess you'd say so i don't know what do you think i'm thinking maybe we should start with the small new one yeah and then we'll work our way to the tougher bigger ones sure and just to give you an idea that's that's how big that mushroom is. Yep. That's a good size. Yep. Some honkers over here. What do you think, Silky? Think they're good? She's like, just feed me and I'll be okay. <laughs> Before you eat the mushrooms. All right. Well, I guess we'll grab this sucker. And you can see it's called a parasol mushroom. It's nice and white underneath. It has this little parasol on it. And uh, wouldn't we seen another video, the stem was uh, a little bit rougher, kind of like the top. But that was a gentleman in England. Yeah, and those were a slightly different parasol. Yeah, they weren't the shaggy ones. Yeah. They were something else. But. Yeah. All indicators, white stem down here, little parasol on it, the right size, the right pattern. Almost a little nipple on the top. Yep. Shaggy parasol mushroom. So we're gonna take it over to the kitchen and we'll start frying this one up. This one feels very nice. What do you think? Maybe we should grab another one too? Sure, we may as well. Yeah. Um grab one of these uh yeah, these let's guys. Grab here. one of those ones, yeah. Try a bigger one. Then it's a side by side comparison. As you can see the nice white. This one's starting to change color a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just for size comparison. Yeah. There's some big mushrooms. Cool. Okay, critters. Let's go make mushrooms. Here we are at the outdoor kitchen and uh, just snapping the stem off. Cause that's gonna be chucked away. We're gonna use just this piece. You're not supposed to wash them with water. So we just kind of dust it off best we can. Make sure there's no giant bugs crawling in there. <laughs> A little bit of grass won't hurt us. But that's one. And then this is the big soccer. Let's break that right off. From what we've heard, chuck the stems, yep. eat the tops. This one looks pretty good. I don't see any bugs. I don't see any debris on it. I'm gonna call it good. And we got uh, two uh, farm fresh eggs here from the farm. You're really gonna whack these freaking things. <laughs> uh oh, it's got shell in there. How crunchy do you like your breading? Well, don't worry. That might give it a more of a panko quality. <laughs> don't worry, folks. I licked my fingers clean earlier. It's not true. 
The dog licked him clean. <laughs> there we go. A little better. Garbage pile. Yep. Just gonna do a quick wash of my hands because, like I said, my wife is deathly allergic to mushrooms. All mushrooms. But so half a mushroom dabbed liberally in flour. And then dip it in the egg. Oh, oh that looks good. Oh damn it, I forgot to fire up the stove. Oh, that's okay. I'll get the other one ready. I guess once it's breaded, it doesn't matter. Ooh, that looks good. It does look good. Set it right on that next plate. Two of them done up. Cool. So, so we will fire up the stove, get the pan hot, chuck in some oil. Yep. And see what we've got. Moment of truth. Got two uh, mushrooms all done up, breaded, spiced. We got uh, pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and. Um, Fresh parsley from the garden. All right, Let's throw these two in. It's got it on a medium heat, not on a flat surface. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a couple minutes aside or something. Oh yeah, wait, just wait till these suckers get a little crispy and. You want to push them right into the middle, get them on the heat there. Okay. Yep, this thing's been cruising on medium heat, so taking a quick look. It's toasty there. Nice. Our video didn't work when we were doing our spices, but they normally ask for panko crumbs, which are like Japanese breadcrumbs. They fry up really nice. We didn't have any today, so we went with North American breadcrumbs. No name, extra crispy coating mix. But it looks pretty damn good. No doubt a lot of people probably put these in like two inches of oil and deep fry the suckers, but oh, give them a minute and we'll find out. Well, here we are. I'm going to shut this thing down for a few minutes while we organize our life. Slide these off of the heat. Ooh, looks pretty good. What do you think? Look edible. First time we've ever done up mushrooms. Like this, anyways. Yep. Slide going onto your plate, Scotty. It turned out really good on both sides. Mm -hmm.
Mmm. Very good. Very good. Spicing is very nice too. Excellent. Can you taste the mushroom? Mm -hmm. Just the spice. Mmm. No. Oh, you can taste the mushroom. Mmm. So, that is good. So compared to like, I don't know, like a brown mushroom or portobello or anything like that, what would you say? Um, fairly similar. Okay. Just there's so much of it. Yeah. So there's a very strong mushroom flavor. So. Okay. I think uh, a spicy one would probably be really good, like a hot spicy. Mm -hmm. But uh, so far so good. I'm on my second piece and I haven't... Uh, Still with us. Yeah. It tastes like pub food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you think of the flavor? Spices is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it starts out with the mushroom and then all the spices mm -hmm. jump in. I'll give you a close-up of it. Like I said, I think deep fried these things would be absolutely amazing. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Well, we're gonna munch on these two, and then we're gonna dream up what to do with the next one. Yeah, so what do we have? We got uh Lemon pepper, chili powder. Yep. And we've also got some pepperoni. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll munch these down and we'll see what we're going to dream up next. We got plans for that big sucker. Well, the last one was really good. It was just so thick that you couldn't get it nice and crispy it was actually you know just so much mushroom so what we're thinking this time is we're going to cut it into little strips or wedges and that way maybe we can get it a little crispier the way we like it take a little that thick yeah i'd say yeah that's a good size and then when we're breaded And we found the center piece isn't quite as good as the outside edges. It so was, it, it was pretty chewy. It was yeah. As you get towards the center, it's a little bit chewy. But out here in this ring in here, oh, it is so good. Yeah, out where there. all the meat is there. Ooh, that was good. Yeah, very yummy. But good flavor throughout. Now this one's a little looks a little older, like a little more mature. So I wonder what the flavor will be. Yes. I'll have to keep that in mind too. It is a bit of an older one. We didn't know what is better because we've never tried this before. So we grabbed one young one, one older one. Yep. So there we go. So that's, that is perfect cut right there. That's Look at that. great. So there's our little pieces all set to go. Okay. So I think we'll do the same. We'll bread it. Yep. Chuck them in the some flour first. Uh, should I heat up the pan? Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ooh. to our crumbs, but this time we'll add a little extra something something after we're, when we're ready. Yeah.
said so these are shaggy parasols? Yes. What was the scientific name? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Eat us and don't die us. <laughs> I hope this. <laughs> <clears throat> Your Latin is really good. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I don't remember taking that in school. It's all those Wiley e. Coyote films. That, that's where Cartoons. I learned. Yep. That's where you learn all the good stuff. My fingers are getting pretty battered. Yeah. That's why I'm going to let you continue. <laughs> I just need a hot surface to clean these on. <laughs> <laughs> Ed gets sick because he licks his fingers off with raw egg or something. <laughs> <laughs> that said, these are farm fresh, so they're actually probably pretty safe. Yeah. Safe as they get. Look at the thumbs on this guy. <laughs> 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 We've got another half pack of uh, crumbs as well. Should they be required? I think we'll go with six pieces, eh? We'll try it. Yeah, let's go with that. And this should fill up the pan just quite nice. Go much more, and I can have some <laughs> growth on my fingers. I don't know why it's so slippery. <laughs> <laughs> I would think hey, those fingertips, you could grab anything. <laughs> <laughs> those are looking good, eh? Very good. I figure one more? Yeah, I may as well make it even. Six. Yep. Keeps it nice and simple when you're calling 911. How many mushroom pieces <laughs> did he have? Well... The same as me. <laughs> Does it confuse things if I also tell you he ate some mushrooms that he ordered online? <laughs> it does. Okay, okay. Good to know. That's what I was thinking is when they say they're edible, they didn't say they weren't going to get you stoned as anything. <laughs> Forgot to read the fine print, did you? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm going to wash these off. Lemon pepper. A little on each, or what do you think, half? I'd do one side. Or do you want to try Cajun on it? I mean, uh, chili on it too. I'm going to try both. Okay. I'll take the same, hammer it. I don't think you can overspice these things because there's so much mushroom there. True. Like you could really stack it on and it would only be good. Oh. Oh, that's looking good. These are going to be awesome. All right, we'll take a break. We'll get the stove rolling. Chuck these in the pan. Here we go, round two. These are, what were the spices again? Um, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, fresh parsley from the garden, but not, uh, but dried. And um, lemon pepper. Lemon pepper and chili powder. Awesome. Loaded on top, that's why she's so dark. The pan should be hot and ready to go. Now, should we put those spices downwards into the oil? I'm thinking we should, That's eh? what I think too. Get this oil all over this place. There we go. Are you ready? Mm. 
Ooh, that smells good. I can smell yeah. the, the chili powder. The chili powder smells awesome. Awesome. Give her a little bit of a roll to get some of that oil going underneath the stuff. Cheers, everyone. Well, I guess we'll come back in a minute or so, eh? Yeah, I think another minute and they'll be ready to flip. Cool. I'll give them a little squish down. Let's see what we got here. Woo, those look good. Oops. Look go. good. I think a uh, little wedge shape without the center bit. That's the key. I think so. Oh, here, I'll choose a crispy one for you. That's crispy one. Woo! They look good. Look at those. A little dark on the first side, but we kind of wanted it that way. Try and cook them a little bit more through. Yeah, a lot of that is actually the chili powder. Yeah, I actually never thought of that. That side is the chili powder, so. It's going to be spicy. Oh, yeah. Cajun style mushrooms. <laughs> Crunchy, nice. Look good. Temperature mm. hot. It's cooked a lot better. Mm-hmm. Need more spice. Mm-hmm. Mushroom seems to absorb the, the, the spice and this mushroom doesn't taste as mushroomy as the younger mushroom did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice texture though. Like a mushroom cutlet. Mm-hmm. The breading is very nice. Parameters, I think. Very good. Yep. So, if we don't get this video up tonight, maybe they weren't edible. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I don't care who you are. <laughs> And don't feel bad, everyone. You can laugh too. I told the wife, memorize 911's phone number. <laughs> mm -mm. Dog's coming over. She might be alarmed. Oh, yeah. And apparently, these mushrooms are not good for dogs, so mm -hmm. we are not letting her have anything. She's sure interested, though. No beer. You're a good girl. All right. And there you have it. Wild, shaggy parasol mushrooms. Yep. 
with breaded, uh, breaded, and breaded. Fried. Yep, in different spices, two different ways. Yep. And we still have a few chunks of this one left, so I think we might try some pepperoni, quick stir fry. Do up the rest of the egg. Yep. Do up the rest of the egg. Just anything we can. Just do it all together. And yep. If it looks uh, semi-edible, then we'll might show you. <laughs> if it looks like something only we eat or the dog. Then we'll definitely show you. Then we'll definitely show you. <laughs> See you later. Cheers. Here's our uh, little add-on video here. We've got uh, spicy pepperoni and mushroom frying in the pan. We're getting some garlic on there too. Yeah, a little garlic in there, sure. Anything else? We yeah. got onion. I think we'll just go with the egg for now and Yeah, that sounds good. Salt and pepper that thing and not much egg left, but no point in wasting it. That looks pretty damn good. Looks really good. Not quite ready for flipping yet. Get some stragglers into the middle. Probably turn it right off. I think that egg will cook in about 15 seconds. Yep. <laughs> and there you go. Wild mushroom omelet with a spicy pepperoni. Bon appetit. Yep. And the rest of it turned out really good too. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Yep. Thanks for watching. Thanks. See you guys next time. See ya.